course, there's always one more thing to do when we work on these cars. I have my dyno appointment in about 10, 12 hours from now. And so I'm gonna do the Z1 Motorsports Plenum Spacer because it does give a great boost of power to these VQs for a very small amount of money. So now that I got this intake and everything on here, gotta rip that off, pull the intake manifold off, throw the spacer on, bolt it back down, no problem. So this is a machine piece of aluminum from one big block. And if you look at it closely, you actually see that one side is thinner than the other. So what that does, is it gets equal airflow to the front and rear cylinders and it levels out this upper intake manifold just that little bit. So you can see this is really thin and all the ports have to come in through the throttle body down and around and into the uh, actual ports into each cylinder. So this equals out the airflow a little bit after some of these teams have done dyno testing and figured out that the front cylinders are working a little too hard. So given that little extra eighth of an inch or so looks like, um, on the front cylinders, evens it out and gets the power all the way even across the board. Just got the special TZ. These guys are awesome at tuning the 350 and 370Zs and of course the G platforms. And on this thing, even though it runs a stock ECU, you can still get a lot of great gains out of just retuning it, especially when you put a couple bolts on them. So for NA, there's not too much you can do. And the Nissans actually have a really good adjustable timing in the factory computer. So all he's doing is really smoothing that out, smoothing out the air fuels, picking up those mid-range gains, which is where a lot of people fall short. They just look for the peak number. We're trying to get the most power out of the car for the entire duration of the RPM van. consistent we are just rock solid 259 258 8 whatever you want to call that um same thing 232 7 so it's great the power numbers as you can see from the red line that was the original uh and by original i don't mean stock i mean just from the initial base settings with the nissan computer trying to adjust for it and then sebastian coming in here and just bringing this line up all the way up through this mid-range so and of course, some gains up top as well. Uh, torque numbers are up, the horsepower numbers are up, so it's a full win-win, and we know the car is running 100%, so now we can go beat the crap out of it with no worries. The hardest part about this is it's windy out today, and also clear, you can't see any spots that you missed so hopefully you just lay it on evenly and you hit everything. So uh, I got some new parts to freshen this baby up. Big thanks to Sam's Auto Land. Two new front fenders, uh, an updated front bumper, and a hood. Thanks to Sam's Auto Land and Toyota, we got a brand new front end, updated headlights, updated taillights, uh, fresh paint on the hood, fenders, front bumper, and this thing doesn't look like it came out of a junkyard anymore, so I actually have a lot more motivation to finish this thing. All I needed was a little tune-up, dude, a little facelift. I'm stoked, man. This thing's coming out good now.
it, dude. End of the year. 2018. We're it's done. A wrap. It's, it's a wrap. Yeah. In the end, it's a great freaking season. Two of us, both of us, finish in the top six. Only four other guys out here finish up there with us. So, not bad. Not too bad. Dude. Not too bad. Not too bad. No overall trophies, but just on the outside. And we went, we bettered our positions from last year. By, Absolutely, by, by a long a lot. shot, by a by landslide. A lot. Yeah. So that's pretty solid. solid. Yeah. The empty season is over, kind of, but not always, because yeah. now we have to rebuild cars. We gotta rebuild these cars, these race cars, and we gotta finish these 25k builds. Yeah. We still got to do that. But forget all that, because uh, yeah, I'm going that. on vacation, so I'll see you guys in like oh, a week. Geez. All right. Well, I guess I'll just keep working <laughs> on these cars then. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs>
actually not even sitting on a seat right now. Uh, and I just put the steering wheel on so we can move the car around. I just got finished putting the interior back together. Try to take my time so that I could still have working air, working radio, uh, lights, blinkers, all that stuff. And next we're gonna do uh, Momo wheel, um, obviously get the shifter on, Takata seats and harnesses, uh, the 1552 wheels and, and necks and tires. And after that, we are pretty much ready to rock. So we'll be going to the desert pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching Blackout. As always, we appreciate all the support. Leave your comments below. And next episode, we should be doing some burnouts in uh, front of the race server shop here. So uh, be ready for that. Don't tell the boss though. He might get pissed. Where is he?